Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful gods and goddesses, Aquarius. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. I know you are because that's the intention you set. Of course you are, Aquarius. Listen, Aquarius, we have a new moon coming. Spring forward. Ha <laughs> ha, time to spring forward. And some of you all know what I mean by that, depending on where you are in the world. But again, yes, new moon for the Aquarius. Well, it affects every sign, right? But since we're talking about you, gods and goddesses, let's talk about it. You all know that this is a general reading. These cards um, are by Chris Ann. These are the Light Sears Tarot deck. These cards right here are the Sacred Self Care Oracle cards by Jill Pyle. Yes, yes, yes. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aquarius gods and goddesses in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have before we have my wonderful Aquarius? Yes, Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. I am so excited for you all because like I said, Aquarius, you all are the smartest signs in the Zodiac. Very, very powerful. Very, very intelligent, right? Matter of fact, let's run it down. I want you to say, I am an Aquarius. I want you to say it loud and proud. I want you to say, I am open-minded, I'm a humanitarian, I am creative, I am free-spirited, I am intellectual, I am progressive, I am original, I am independent, I am unique, I am friendly, I am extremely powerful, and I am a god. Matter of fact, yes, you are a water bearer, the bearer of truth, yes. Try to pull a fast one on an Aquarius and boom, you screw yourself. Yes, Aquarius, okay, listen. Listen, Aquarius, we're going to get right on into it. We're going to get right on into it. Now, listen, okay, when you say that you are a God, you're not trying to be someone else's God, right? I know you all are the I know sign, right? That's the motto for the Aquarius, I know, because the Aquarius really does know everything because you've been just absorbing information your entire life, since before your entire life, right, when you were in your mother's womb, just absorbing information from the universe. So you don't have to say, I know. You don't have to be know-it-alls, right? Matter of fact, that's kind of one of the things that sort of turns people off from the Aquarius is, oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know everything. That's true, but you don't have to tell everybody, right? So listen, Aquarius, we're going to get right into this reading. We're going to get right into this reading for you. We're also going to be talking about the number 66. And we're going to try to think of some new and, invent, and um, innovative ways of doing some things, right? So it just doesn't get mundane because it's a fixed sign. Things can kind of get mundane, right? Kind of get hooked on habits and routines and the way you do things. And that's all fixed signs, not just the Aquarius, but that's all fixed signs. You can kind of get, you know, hooked on the way that you do things, right? Some people like pancakes, bacon, and eggs for breakfast every single morning. Not me because I'm not a meat eater. But yep, some people, I mean, some people do the same thing, same routine over. It's time to shake it up, Aquarius, is what I'm trying to tell you. It's time to shake it up. Also, I'm looking at this. Oh, this is, these are nice. These are very, very nice. Yes, Aquarius, this is very, very nice for you. Aquarius, listen. I pulled this card for somebody else. I'm trying to remember what other sign I pulled this card for. Tricky love situations. Tricky love doesn't always mean romantic love. It could be you love a family member, you love a friend, you love a, a, a could be, you know, whatever. But love, right? It doesn't have to be a tricky love situation. When things are exposed to you, Aquarius, act quickly. Don't stay stuck on, you know, I know you could, as a fixed sign, I don't want you to stay stuck in a place of feeling like, I can't believe that happened. Yes, believe it. The universe exposed it, right? Remember, see this full moon, it, it exposes everything. We have a new moon that's coming, so it's a brand new you. So I want you to leave the past behind. I want you to be in expectancy mode. I want you to feel like this is a fresh new start for me. I'm going to start manifesting the things that I want in my life. I am feeling more hopeful moving forward. I'm just forgetting about the past. The past could have been five minutes ago, last year, last month, last week, whatever. But listen, situations don't ever have to be tricky, Aquarius. They never have to be tricky. None of them. Yeah. Your intuition is on a thousand, right? Like I said, you are extremely intelligent, Aquarius, extremely intelligent, especially when you know that you're an empath and you're pulling information down from the universe, you're able to see everything around you. Whether people realize it or not, you're able to see everything around you. 
and you are spot on. Yes, here we go. Yes, Aquarius, High Priestess card. Yes, information just comes to you just like whoosh. <laughs> just flowing. Like, again, you're the bearer of truth, right? Not the bearer of somebody else's version of truth. It's the bearer of truth as we know the truth to be. A lot of you all have been in introspection mode, just kind of sort of being like, hmm, huh, let me raise above a situation and take a real good look at everything from all points of view and consult with my spirit guides and see what I'm getting here, what information I'm getting here. Boom, and every all the information is coming to you. Yeah, you're seeing things for what it really is. You're seeing things about family members for what it really is. You're seeing things about friends for what it truly is. Again, this is about you becoming more innovative, breaking that routine of staying stuck in disbelief when you've seen certain things about people. Because trust me, they're falling. Yes, they are. Listen, this is also about balancing out your dualities. This card is Gemini. Gemini's card, right? This is the lover's card, Gemini. But this is about you, Aquarius, balancing out your own dualities, right? You're divine masculine by default, but this is you also tapping into your divine feminine side and saying, hey, I'm going to start nurturing myself. I'm going to start doing things for myself. I'm not going to sit back and wait for someone else to nurture me when I have it within me to nurture myself, right? Again, becoming more innovative. This is a brand new start that's coming and we have like, I think I want to say it's like 1% of a waning crescent moon. So it's just still that 1% that needs to be decluttered from within. And sometimes also outside of yourself. Yeah. Start just cleaning house. Yes, exactly. In-house as well as outhouse. Yeah. And being patient with the entire process. Now this card right here, the hangman card is attached to the planet the, um, Neptune, right? The planet of illusion. Right, so you be patient, Aquarius, and you sit back and you watch how things unfold. You see how people will fall. As you continue to ascend, they continue to descend, right? Yes, absolutely. Here we go. We have the hangman. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of you all are father figures, right? You know how to take control of situations. And I'm talking to people who identify as man and woman. You are father figures. A lot of you all are, whether you have children or not, People see you as this authoritative figure. They see you as this person who is really, really on fire, a positive energy. You're brave. You're courageous. You're all these wonderful things that, because this is an Aries, right? So some of you all actually have Aries in your chart. And so if that's the case, yeah, you are a strong leader. Yes, you are of amazing self-confidence. Yes, you're positive energy. Yes, you are brave. You are creative. You are very courageous. You are determined. You're confident. You're enthusiastic. You're optimistic. You're honest. You're passionate. All these wonderful things. You know how to take control of your life. And guess what? People look up to that. They want to connect to the fire in you, Aquarius, right? So when you start to feel Aquarius like, okay, Okay, I'm the same routine every single day. I'm doing the same old thing. Or let's say, for instance, somebody says to you, you can kind of spice it up a little bit. Hey, it's not, it's, it's constructive feedback, right? I mean, it depends on how the person says it. Because of course, some people are just being shady. But of course, if a person is saying, hey, Aquarius, you know, you can spice it up a little bit because you have all these great ideas and you're really smart and you're friendly. Because remember, you all are known for your friendliness, right? Yes. So why not just step outside your comfort zone, Aquarius, and just do it, right? Just do it. Just do it. Absolutely. So like I said, a, a new start, a fresh new start is coming. Let's talk about the number 66 for just a second, because 66 is very, very powerful. When you look at the number 66, Aquarius, think of it this way. 66, the vibration of the number 66 means that your life is imbued with double creative power and double your voice, right? And so this is a voice that needs to be heard while you're being your service to others. You all are humanitarians, right? So double up on it. Double up on your intuitiveness, right? Your creative power, everything. Take full control and take charge of your life completely, Aquarius. I'm telling you because, again... It's very intelligent, very smart. It's about time. Okay, I'm, I'm not hiding in the shadows anymore, right? Never again. I'm not going to keep doing the same thing. Because what happens, Aquarius, right? <laughs> again, as fixed signs, this is you. This is Taurus. This is Scorpio. This is Leo. All fixed signs can get fixated on the way that they do things. Very loyal people. Very 
um, um, and we're talking about high vibrational, right? People who are just kind of sort of in this routine of like this daily routine of like, I'm going to do things this way because it works for me. Yes. But guess what? Other things are going to work for you too. All you have to do is really step out on faith. So 66 really is about, um, self-expression, you know, from the arts, like music, writing, speaking, right? Just kind of sort of just being led with your heart, right? Also, 66 are able to easily step into um, their responsibilities. So again, okay, so let's say for instance, okay, you're, we, we all know Aquarians are humanitarians. Let's say you're volunteering with a particular effort. So this is about you stepping into your responsibilities, right? Whatever those responsibilities are. Let's say you are doing like, a, um, you volunteer with a like cancer foundation or like a AIDS foundation or diabetes or something like that. One, you're helping a greater cause, right? So you're part of, you're part of that moving part. So that means that, okay, if somebody needs you to fold t-shirts, hey, Aquarius is right there. Like, hey, I'm going to go here and I'm fold t-shirts and be creative. If somebody needs you to make some phone calls or to be a part of the sales and marketing team or whatever, Aquarius, this is about you just, again, just stepping outside of your comfort zone and breaking that daily routine and doing something and channeling your focus on things that you love. Again, tapping into the divine feminine side of yourself and nurturing yourself, doing the things that you have always loved to to do which is to serve mankind help move mankind forward right 66 is also able to help transform other people's emotional state through joy and gratitude remember you all are the friendliest sign in the zodiac right so again you don't have to ever be in tricky love situations you can love a person to pieces and we're talking about agape love we're not talking about with the strings attached you can love people to pieces right but if you all are on two different frequencies for you, Aquarius, take your time to go into hermit mode. Really give some light, some thought to it from a spiritual level. Let the universe download information into your spirit and then boom, make a move, right? Do what you need to do to nurture yourself, right? And so a move for other people around you may feel very uncomfortable because people are not used to you not staying stuck in a certain position. You know, like a lot of times it's hard for it won't say hard. Sometimes it can be a little challenging for Aquarius to, to heal from relationships because, again, the focus, you know, a lot of times is on, I can't believe this person did this to me. I can't believe this person broke my heart. I can't believe they cheated. I can't believe they lied. I can't believe they manipulated me. But now it is, this is the new you, Aquarius. I'm getting by myself, getting some healing. I'm separating myself from everybody so I can nurture myself for however long it takes, not 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Sometimes it's going to take a week. Sometimes it's going to take a couple of days. You're like, you know what? The situation is tricky. It is what it is. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to let the chips fall where they may. I'm not looking back, right? But I'm being patient with my healing. Yes, Aquarius, this is about you nurturing yourself so that you can do greater good for the universe. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is where healing and all of this starts for you. So yes, let's get back into the cards so we can wrap this reading up for you. This is great. All of these major arcanas, you have a lot of major wonderful things happening for you. Again, Aquarius, sometimes it just takes real quick getting by yourself and saying, hold on, let me think this thing through. Let me meditate. Let me see things from a God level of clarity. Remember you are a God. So let me see it from another set of eyes. I'm not looking with my natural eyes anymore. I'm looking at it from a God level of clarity. Absolutely Aquarius. Kudos to you. Look at all this money that you manifest. Crazy. Yes. Yes. Look at this Aquarius. Look at this. So listen, Earth mother energy. Yes, you're manifesting money. Earth mother energy. This is as a result of you saying, I'm going to nurture myself, right? I'm going to do what I need to do for me to be great, right? Yes, unapologetically great, right? And guess what? This is what you look like to a lot of people because you are actually in your flow. You're in your element. You're helping people. You're changing lives. You're doing things that's going to help people to raise their vibrations. It, people are looking at you like, mm, look at the Aquarius. They look like the knight in shining armor. By the way, knight in shining armor could identify as a man or woman, right? <laughs> so, but again, Aquarius, you still have to see things from a God level of clarity, right? 
everybody's not looking for a soulmate. Not everybody's looking for a twin flame. Some people absolutely just love serving mankind, really. I mean, seriously, there's a lot of Aquarius because you all are independent, very free-spirited people, right? And I always tell Aquarius in general, you know, when I'm talking to you guys know, when I'm talking to, when, when we're having our... our um, personal readings, Aquarius, I always say whether you identify as a man or woman, I would not advise an Aquarius to just date one person. Okay, I said it, yes. <laughs> if you want to comment down below, hey, knock yourself out. But for real, I would I, because you all are such humanitarians and your 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 assignment here in this realm is to help push mankind forward in a very positive way, right? And because you're so friendly, a lot of times it could come off as almost being flirtatious, even when when it's not. It's just like you're just friendly, helping other people, right? And so helping to push. So a lot of people see you this way. But I want to encourage you, Aquarius, not to automatically fall for the person who sees you this way, right? They could just be completely enamored with your joy, your happiness, your energy, the God in you, right? Your spirit, right? They could be enamored with that. You always got to protect yourself. Remember when I talk about tapping into your divine feminine energy, always nurture yourself so much so that this person doesn't seem like they're your better half. And you're not their better half, right? You only want to be connected to other people who are whole, right? Who see themselves as a God, who know that they're a God, right? Not that they're trying to be someone else's and they're certainly not making you their God, right? Because you don't want somebody worshiping you like you're a God. That's That gets really, really crazy, really tricky and crazy. But again, you're seeing things at the God level of clarity. This is when you go into deep meditation. Absolutely. Listen, people all around you being exposed left and right. But guess how you were able to find out truly what everything was by taking some time, allowing the scales to fall from your eyes. Again, sometimes people present themselves this way, right? Okay. Sometimes people present themselves this way, but it's really not. It's really not that way. They are manipulative. They're sneaky. They're liars. They play games. They're, they're like, they try to, they think that they're being puppet masters, right? They're controlling this situation. They're controlling that situation, controlling, but good luck when you try to control an Aquarius that way, right? Good luck with that. So again, always being exposed. People are constantly being exposed, right? So Aquarius, again, for you, because you are the divine masculine, your energy is directed outward. You're a very action-oriented, right? You, you don't always have to be talkative, but I'm saying action-oriented, just getting stuff done. This is about nurturing yourself, and nurturing yourself comes in stepping back for a second and letting the universe show exactly what's going on, exposing energy, right? And so this is also exposing something within you, which means, okay, now I'm going to start listening to my intuition immediately. I'm going to start taking action immediately. I'm not going to wait. No, I'm not going to wait to take action. Here we go. Three of pentacles. Again, attached to your money, right? Yes. Perfect synergy when it comes to your money and also you manifesting an abundance of wealth. Yes, Aquarius, this is a great reading for you. Great, great, great reading for you because again, you're get your, you're becoming, you're using your gifts of innovation, right? You're not limiting yourself. You are expanding. You are expanding all across the board in every area of your life. You're not interested. Okay, now let me just, let me double back for a second, Aquarius. If you happen to be in a relationship with one person and that relationship is working great for you, I'm not talking to you when I say date multiple people. Let's be real clear. I'm not telling anybody to cheat on anybody. I would never say that. But what I'm saying is that if you are single, this is not necessarily about you running out here trying to find your twin flame or your soulmate to make you whole because you're already whole, Aquarius. That's why I said because you have so much work to do for the universe, you may need, if, if you want to date, date several people at one time, if you want to even date at all, but several people at one time. It doesn't always have to be intimate. You can see this person on this day, this person this day, and so on and so forth. This person could be good for talking on the phone and laughing about this, that, and the other. This one could be good for going out to roller skate. This one could be going out to because y'all like the same type of food. Do you see what I'm saying? It's all platonic. But again, it is, okay, I'm seeing multiple people. I'm befriending multiple people. Not necessarily being 
you know what I'm saying, to multiple people because I know I have ch uh, children watching the channel. But again, this is about you switching your focus and being more innovative and doing the things that you love to do. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Let's see this last Oracle card. Let's get an Oracle card. And whew, I'm apologizing in advance, Aquarius, for this video being so long. I really only intended for this video to be like five minutes less than it is. <laughs> But I'm telling you, this reading popped out. I was like, whoa, whoa, look at this for the Aquarius. Yes, music. Put on your favorite music, Aquarius. It's you and the most high, right? 37, one. You are very grounded. You and raising, you know, how the number one looks. If you, go watch my video for number one or the number 10. So yes, three plus seven is 10, zero being the God number. You know who you are. You are a God. Go listen to your high vibration music and celebrate your life, Aquarius, because it's about to be on and popping for you, okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Bye.